we've got to go through there. Oh, there I am. Oh, look, there's your character. Oh, my God. Did we really not just go straight to Dunham? I feel like I've become an archaeologist. It was so awe-inspiring. Hello, everyone. Today, we've got an exciting video as I will be taking my mum on a mysterious trip. Oh, really? What, have you bought the tickets without telling me? Well, hang on. We've got one video to watch before all will be explained. Mm -hmm. Hang on, is this Dunhuang in the desert? Yeah, we've travelled to China before. We've been to Beijing, Xi'an, Shanghai and Hangzhou, but I knew you always wanted to visit Dunhuang. That is our destination today. Right, well, we've been to Xi'an to see the Terracotta Warriors. Oh, the memories are still so vivid. It was absolutely fascinating. I really adore these ancient Chinese cultures, but it has been five years since we've been and we haven't had the chance to go back since. The culture is just so captivating. So today, Mum, we're going to be visiting the Morgao Caves in Dunhuang, which are in the desert of ancient China's western region. And they are a massive treasure trove and art and a holy site of Buddhism. And I have been wanting to go for ages. Mm. I'm excited to take you today. The ancient western regions will roughly correspond to today's Gansu area and during the Tang Dynasty the culture of the western regions deeply integrated with the central plains and have become a really important cultural centre. But did you know the Morgao Caves we'll be visiting today actually house over 60,000 pieces of significant Buddhist and ancient historical cultural items? Oh, I really want to visit Dunhuang. Just look how beautiful these shots are. Yeah, this isn't actually a video by the way, this is rendered on a computer. Do you mean they aren't real shots? This wasn't filmed in Dunhuang. What you're seeing here, Mum, has been rendered using game engines, perhaps even clearer than what you might see with your own eyes. <laughs> oh gosh, that's astonishing. He doesn't look fake at all. Ooh. In fact, <laughs> gaming technology like this has become really popular in China as a way of digitalizing cultural relics and historical sites. Is it Google or Apple then assisting? with the technology. No, it's actually a Chinese company called Tencent, the same company that made WeChat, and they've collaborated with some Chinese professional organizations and cultural relic experts from the Dunhuang Academy in order to do this. I'm actually really amazed. It just looks so real. So, Mum, are you ready to go on this exciting trip to go to those Morgao Caves, the site of many historical cultural relics? Well, I am, but how do we get there? Well, today, Mum, we're gonna be getting there through an exciting new piece of technology, which is the Digital Library Cave. Let's go. Oh, here we go, Mum! Oh, it's really engaging. It really draws you in. So. so, welcome to the Morgao Caves of Dunhuang. In front of us lies the world-famous library cave number 17. Shall we give it a check out, Mum? Yeah. Oh, so it's got English subtitles. That's useful. Library cave. I like the sound of that. Ooh. <laughs> Look at the barriers there. <laughs> Ooh, scroll forward. That's nice. You can look all around everywhere. Uh, swivel right round. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they picked it on a nice day. Yeah. Our way has been lit up. Oh, let's go. <laughs> nice, it's got the footsteps as well. Oh, look. 16 to 17, that must be the workplace that we're going. Oh, right. Oh, we, we've got to go through there. Hey, yeah, Look. we've not gone into the library cave. Okay, okay, let's enter then. Hello. That's nice. Oh, so look, it's a monk, Master Hongbian. Oh, so it's saying yeah. that he is meditating in a cross-legged... Yeah, position. Position. Right, what else is there to explore then? There's something here as well. Oh. There's our lotus. Oh. Oh. Select experience. Is this about the this, costume? This is saying we can choose what we want to look like. Oh! Hey. So. Well, can you make your own avatar? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be there. You want to be the pretty lady, do you? Yes, Which one please. though? Because look, there's another one. Oh! There's three. Oh, that middle golden one. I like that. Oh. Uh, That's me. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Is this because we've changed outfits? What's going on? I love the style of it. I like this just must be all through the ages of it being done. Oh, there I am! Oh look, there's your character! These are the Morgan Caves of Dunhuang in year 6 of the Tang Dynasty of Daojong Ri. And Jiyao, a reincarnation of the sacred Aldika bird in this fresco. I've been expecting you. Okay, expecting me. <laughs> this is like a game. Why have you been expecting more? I will travel with you through time and space to a different area of Dunhuang to witness the grand story of the library cave. Sure. This backpack will help us collect acquisitions during our journey. This mm -hmm. handbook will help you record fragments of history. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. Dunhuang is like Dunhuang, man. Mm. Ah. <laughs> see ya, see ya. Yeah, we've gone into a game now. We're meeting here today because the Buddha has fated it, so... Oh, 
Are you willing to help? Are you willing to help? I will. We will do it. Although she obviously has some really nice dress on. It's probably yes. not the best dress to wear if you want to do <laughs> cave excavation. Yeah. Search for digging tools. Okay. Mum, we are digging. Oh! <laughs> We've got our hoe. Right, where's our second digging tool? There it is. Oh! Chisel. I think you should help me, really. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing it together. I think I'll get my uh, dress dirty. How about the facade? Okay, we need to get the tools out, don't we, from our backpack. Do you remember she gave us a backpack? Yeah, yeah, uh, I do. Right. Drag the chisel to the edge of the cave. Oh, there we go, there we go! I figured out how to do it, let's go! Let's yeah. go! And we power up the swing here, Mum. Go on then, go for it, yeah. Oh, nice. easy. Right, you have a go. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, who would have expected we to do some cave digging today? <laughs> well, I'm going to give it one more go. Oh. oh, sorry, I've done it. You're too slow, Mum. I've done yeah. all of the work. Oh, look at that. Well done. Oh, what oh. has he given us? Mika. Get something to eat. Guys, let us know in the comments what that is. I do feel quite hungry, actually, after all that physical work. Uh, congratulations on the excavation of the cave. The stories about this place continue on, so let's travel another hundred years together. Oh. Nice, so we've taken part in the first part of building the cave. Oh. Off I go, time travel. Yeah! Julie, sure this is? The story of the wine ledger. Okay, okay. Oh look, we're in the Northern Song Dynasty now. It's moved ahead. Yeah. We're in 964, because we were in the Tang Dynasty. Yeah. Oh, Jan. Excellent. Buddha preserves us. Yes, he does. Master, may I inquire as to who you are? The Rector of Monks at Shardell. Yeah, tell us more. Okay, it's at Sanzia Temple. Oh, they're hand copying scripture with the hope of passing on the classics of Dharma. <gasps> so copying the scriptures uses a large amount of paper, but we only have so much at the monastery. Could you please go into town and request some <laughs> expired government documents so we can tra transcribe the scriptures? <laughs> okay, happy to. So let's go get these documents that aren't being used anymore so we can write the scriptures on them. Do we know any Buddhist scriptures? Mm -hmm. Can you think of any off the top of your head? Mm -hmm. No, me either. It's okay though, because I'm sure that monk's going to help us out. Are we in town now? Yeah, I think we're in the city. Oh no, not those, they're... Oh! oh. I say that piece of paper looks fun. Where are we now? Oh, we're at the bar. Having some food, having some drink. I think we'll show us how to get, how to clean. <laughs> for playing football. Oh look, there's a silk road with camel yeah. traders. Okay, so that's our, obviously, so we we're using the back of the document we must be, because the front was very full, wasn't it? Was, yeah. Nice. Talk to the monk in the gazebo. Okay, okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Dalton. I need to get it out first out of the backpack. So copying the sutra grants infinite virtue, mum. With your help, we can pass on our dynasty's canical text to the world. Excellent. Infinite virtue as well. I have a bit of that. Yeah, me too. That means it's never going to run out. Yeah, that's what infinite means. <laughs> So must be just turning it over then, do you think? And... This is really good. It's really hard sometimes when you go to museums and you just see the old artifacts to kind of actually make it relevant in your head of Makes, what they've yes. been used for. Yeah, you can read the plaque and it tells you about it. But the way we're doing this really is actually helping us put it. Okay, select the correct sutra for transcription. Well, <laughs> we have too. absolutely no idea. Go for the middle one. No, it wasn't the middle one. Bottom. No. Top then. Third time's Yay. a charm. Whee! Well, we have powered through that, Mum. Infinite virtue, here we go. The scripture is complete. Last of all, please may I trouble you to take this sutra over to the Sandia Temple. Absolutely no problem, sir. Right, Mum, we have to Sandia Temple, please. Oh. It preserves a true account of official wine expenses. Leaving details behind the economy mm -hmm. and everyday culture of Dunhuang like a time capsule for future generations. That's funny. Mm -hmm. it's, so on one side it's, you know, the <laughs> sutras of Buddhism, very important religious writings, and on the other it's some evidence of the fact that people <laughs> like booze. <laughs> yeah. And how much it costs. Right, come on then, let's get this to Sanjir Temple, they'll be waiting. The game's working really well as well, actually. It's really <laughs> smooth the way it works. Yeah. Like Tencent, the company that make it, are absolute leaders in China for gaming and cloud gaming. Well, we know. Back outside. During the Qing Dynasty, the Morgoth caves fell into a state of disrepair. Who knew what happened to all the scriptures? Strange. Strange. Why is there a caravan of camels before the caves? What is going on? The library cave has been opened. I'll pop in first and eavesdrop on these two. How did you just <laughs> walk out of the mural like that? <laughs> 
that's not important. What's important is, what are you doing here, Abbot? As you can see, I'm merely exchanging these volumes for some silver to build up Sanxing Palace. These are precious sutras, official documents, silk paintings, and other relics. Are these really all such important treasures? It's a silly question. They are. Okay, let's find a way to protect the relics. Yeah. Oh my god. Ten months after Stein's departure, a French expedition like Paul Pelle arrived at Dunhuang. Then a Russian expedition, then a oh. Japanese expedition. Over three quarters of the Dunhuang relics from the library cage remain in its seas. Oh. The wine manger that you jointly hand copied and sealed up was split. Oh no. One made its cross the way was oh. to Japan, one went all the way to France. France. And the final one Where remains here. here. Okay, oh. so there is part of it that's still in oh, China. That's good. Oh nice. So the the one that remains is now remaining at the Dunhuang Academy. That's good. Okay, so Japanese citizen sounds like he did donate a fragment uh, in 1997 and in 2015 the French museum shared digital images. Oh. Finally, we can see digitally what the wine ledger would have looked like back then. That's exactly what this journey has been all about for you. Thank you. Nice. Oh look, so this is like the digital representation of, of all of the things. All the information about it. To view, let's view it then. <laughs> That's so interesting, yeah. Like you're saying, the wine ledger is ostensibly a record of official consumption of wine, <laughs> but it has many details about Dong Huang's political politics, economy, and culture. At the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just I like this because it gives like a factual recap of what you've done. So a deep, at a deeper level, the existence of the wine ledger even shines a light on the institutional attempts by an ancient authority to systematically prevent corruption. It's over a thousand years ago, a thousand yeah. years old. Oh, I enjoyed that. Well, that was so much fun okay. learning about the Dunhuang Cave there via this new resource, the digital Dunhuang Cave. What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it and it was just so different and distinctive from a traditional tour guide. I liked it. Yeah, I think what really is going to stick it in my memory and help put it in my memory is, you know when you go to a museum in real life and you see they've got a plaque there, it's often difficult to make that information come to life. life. But like the monk, Hongbian, and the other characters within it, it's really going to be easy for us to remember now because we were involved. It was every sense. It was, you know, it was excavating. It was helping him transcribe those scriptures that were going into the Sanjia temple. So when we did find out that some of them had been, you know, lost to the world, it was actually quite upsetting because we'd taken oh, part yeah. in actually meaningfully copying them out. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it's active learning. Yeah, yeah it learning. was really engaging, active right. learning, but still really good fun. So we really enjoyed exploring that Dunhuang Digital Cave. We fully recommend it. Yeah. I know you guys watch this channel because like me, you're interested in Chinese culture and history. And yeah, I'll put a link in the comments and the description. And we wish you guys a fantastic week. Have you guys ever been to Dunhuang? Yeah. If you have, let us know as well what the experience was like. Thank you so much. 再见啊。